It's like 70 degrees out and I can see my breath. That's what happens when you spray chemtrails, man. They become part of you. Okay, so I kind of want to expose some chemtrail truth here. Uh, as most of you know, we're selling the plane, so we're not getting paid out anymore. Um, this plane has been certified to use the chemtrail fluid EK5812. And so it holds 50 gallons in each tank here, and then the fuel goes in this one. And then right in the exhaust, just right up here, there's a injector that sprays the fluid when you turn on the switch. And the switch, it won't spray fluid unless the engine's running because it's like real toxic chemicals. So it needs to make sure like you're in the air. Um, we get paid about $10 a gallon to spray the stuff. And this has a government issued retrofit kit. And you can see down here, they installed this switch. As you can see, it's... A pilot accidentally released the chemtrails while landing. This is for those that say they are from condensation in the atmosphere. The veil has been lifted. Wake up now before it's too late. 100% proof of chemtrails. Share this before they take it down. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. As promising as it may be, moving forward on SAI would also raise a number of challenges for our government and for the international community. On the technical side, greenhouse gas emission reductions would still have to accompany SAI to address other climate change effects, such as ocean acidification, because SAI alone would not remove greenhouse gases from the atmosphere. On the geopolitical side, the technology's potential to alter weather patterns and benefit certain regions of the world at the expense of other regions could trigger sharp opposition by some nations. Others might seize on SAI's benefits and back away from their commitment to carbon dioxide reductions. And as with other breakthrough technologies, 
global norms and standards are lacking to guide the deployment and implementation of SAI and other geoengineering initiatives.